new report from American Intelligence confirms something that's been rumored for a while. Late last year, a U.S. Navy F-A-18 fighter jet took a very clear photograph on a personal phone of a triangle-shaped unidentified aerial phenomenon. That vehicle, whatever it was, appeared to be operating with a propulsion system that generated no visible exhaust. Hard to see how that could happen. The setting likely places the UFO near a U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. That shouldn't be surprising because a string of UFO sightings have involved nuclear reactors and warheads. That same report also goes into some detail on underwater UFOs, which behave in ways that science can't explain. Tom Rogan has been following all of this quite carefully for some time. He's a columnist at the Washington Examiner. We're happy to have him on tonight. Tom, thanks for coming on. First, tell, tell us about the sighting in late 2019. Yeah, good to be with you, Tucker, uh, and thanks for covering this because not enough journalists, I think, do. Uh, the late 2019 incident essentially involved a U.S. carrier strike group, as with the incident 2004 and 15, uh, doing its workups on pre-deployment, preparing to go abroad and do the missions that the Navy are assigned. And the pilots uh, are flying um, off the coast, off the Atlantic uh, seaboard, and see essentially a black triangle, uh, white sort of indicator lights on its uh, peripheral tips coming out of the water very quickly uh, and then accelerating at extremely high speed uh, at about a 90 degree angle. And one of the pilots uh, took a photo, very good photo I'm told, uh, by multiple sources uh, on his iPhone and Myself and Tim McMillan, who really led the charge in this investigation, have, have sort of tied it down. So I think the real point of note on this is that uh, this phenomenon, whatever it is, continues to occur. It came out of the water. So expand on that a little bit. There have been over the years a number of reports of unidentified underwater vehicles moving in ways that don't make any sense at all. T tell us what you know about that. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons the Navy uh, is very sensitive about this topic is because it essentially doesn't want uh, either China or Russia in particular to figure out whatever these vehicles are, because they appear to be intelligently controlled, figure out how they do what they do. Because they move at hundreds of knots under the water, or at least they can, and they maneuver in ways that would essentially render a submarine or an aircraft carrier or a, any, quite frankly, military uh, warship uh, extremely vulnerable to attack. And, and the capabilities, because of what we understand in terms of friction under the water, right. that these things manifest, and then what they do in the air as well, you know, this is, this is some special stuff, whatever it is. Well, a bullet doesn't travel hundreds of knots an hour, right. an hour underwater for long. I mean, I don't think any human-made object ever has. We've never imagined no. something like that. So what could be the explanation right. you know and it's very interesting uh, the, the Russians have a new system called Canyon which is an underwater drone system that travels very fast but no way near as fast as these things and is nuclear powered uh, and so it's a very different propulsion system and I think that is the exigent point that what these things can do in air underwater uh, in space uh, at least in low orbit uh, are beyond any capability that, that we can identify with an Earth nation, either in delivery, in platform, something that a military is showing, or is in development. Right. Or has even been conceived of. I mean, let, let's be honest. This is, this is really right. out of the realm. Tom, great to see you tonight. Thank you for that report. Right.